Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will describe events as a subset of sample space using characteristics of the outcomes like union, intersection, and complement of an event. We will make use of wing diagrams to understand union, intersection, and complement of events. In our earlier sessions, we have learned about the meaning of sample space and event of an experiment. We know that event is always a subset of the sample space. In probability, the universal set is the sample space of the experiment and Circle represents particular event. Now suppose we have a sample space S is equal to a set containing elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and let outcomes of an event E is a set containing elements 1 and 2. So we can show it in a Venn diagram. For this, we draw a rectangular box which represents sample space S and we write the elements of sample space in this rectangular box. Now, event E is the subset of sample space S. Elements of event E are 1 and 2. So, we draw a circle inside the rectangle which includes only elements 1 and 2. So, here we have drawn a circle which represents event E and we will write elements 1 and 2 inside this circle. Now all the other elements of sample space S which are not in event E lie outside this circle. So we write here 3, 4, 5 and 6 and we shade the circle representing event E so this is the main diagram which represents sample space S and event E which is a subset of sample space S. Now let us discuss union of events. Now let A and B be any two events. Now Union of these two events is the set of elements which are in A or in B or in both A and B and here the repeated elements are written only once and it is denoted by A union B Now we show it with the help of Venn diagram. Now let sample space S is a set containing elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and 8 and outcomes for event A is a set containing elements 1, 5, 2, 3 and event B is a set containing elements 1, 4, 5 and 7. Then A union B is a set of elements which are in A or in B or in both A and B and here the repeated elements are written only once. So this is equal to set containing elements 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5 and 7. Now here you can see the repeated elements 1 and 5 are written only once. Now all the elements of set A in union B are contained in sample space S. So, event A union B is a subset of sample space S. Now let us draw its Venn diagram. Here first we have drawn a rectangle which represents sample space S. Now we will draw two circles representing set A and set B and these two circles will be intersecting circles because set A and set B have elements 1 and 5 in common. So here we have drawn two intersecting circles representing set A and set B. Now in this intersecting portion we will write the common elements that is we will write 1 and 5 here. Then we will write the remaining elements of set A and set B. So we will write 2 and 3 here and 4 and 7 here. Now all the other elements of sample space S which are neither in set A nor in set B lie outside the two circles. So here the only element is 8. So we will write 8 outside the two circles. Now here we have to represent A in union B. Now here the shaded portion represents a union B. Also we must note that A union B means either or any. For example we can be asked find the probability that either of the events occur or find probability P of the event A or B. Now let us discuss intersection of events. Now let A and B be any two events. Then intersection of these two events is the set of elements which are common to both A and B that is, we include only those outcomes which are in event A as well as in event B. And it is denoted by A intersection B. Like in this example which we have discussed earlier, we see that the elements 1 and 5 are in both the events A and B. Thus 1 and 5 are common outcomes to both the events. Thus A intersection B is a set containing elements 1 and 5. Also we see that A intersection B is a subset of sample space S. Now let us draw its Venn diagram. Here the diagram is same as above but the shaded portion will be different. Here we will shade only that part of the circles which is common to both A and B. So here this is the required Venn diagram where the shaded portion represents a intersection B. Now you must note that in questions it can be asked find the probability of getting both A and B events or find probability of A and 
B, that is probability of event A or B, it means here we have to find probability of the event A intersection B. Now let us discuss complement of an event. Now let E be any event. Now complement of an event E is the set of those elements of sample space S which are not in event E and it is denoted by E complement. Now earlier we have discussed an example where sample space S is a set containing elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and event E is a set containing elements 1 and 2. Now here E complement will be a set containing those elements of sample space S which are not in event E and those elements are 3, 4, 5 and 6. So E complement is a set containing elements 3, 4, 5 and 6 as the elements 3, 4, 5 and 6 are not in event E. Now earlier we have drawn a wave diagram representing sample space S and event E which is a subset of sample space S. Now here we have to represent E complement. Now here the shaded portion in this wave diagram represents E complement. Now you must note that we can be asked to find probability of an event not E or to find probability of an event E complement In both these cases, we have to find probability of the event E complement. Now, let us discuss complement of two events. Now, complement of set A union B is the set of those elements of sample space S which are not in set A union B and it is denoted by A union B whole complement. Now from this frame diagram can we find A union B whole complement. Now only element 8 is outside the two circles representing A union B this means 8 is not in A union B. Thus, A union B whole complement is a set containing single element 8. Now let us represent A union B whole complement in this Venn diagram. So we have the following Venn diagram and here shaded portion represents A union B whole complement. Now you must note that if it is asked to find probability of an event neither in A nor in B then we have to find probability P of an event A union B whole complement equivalently it also means not in A and not in B. So we can find probability P of an event A complement and B complement or probability P of an event A complement intersection B complement. So in this session we have discussed Union, intersection and complement of events. And this completes our session. 
Hope you all have enjoyed the session.